So I made a joke video where I drilled holes into a graphics card to improve its airflow. And if you've watched my videos before, you probably know that I'm gonna tell you this isn't that far-fetched. A YouTuber named Bringus Studios drilled holes into the IHS of a processor and it actually improved the thermals significantly. His question was basically, how small of a heatsink can I have to keep the processor running without overheating? Because the IHS is technically already a mini heatsink, he wanted to see if he could use the IHS as the only heatsink on a CPU. For the test, he used a Dell Optiplex 3040, which features the Intel Pentium G4400 processor. First, he stress tested the processor with a CPU fan unplugged, and it took five minutes to reach a dangerous temperature, which is actually a pretty long time. Then he removed the CPU fan and used external fans to blow air at the CPU, but the processor was still hitting dangerous temperatures. Nothing was really working until he was using a leaf blower, and then the temp started going a lot lower. This is also where drilling holes into the IHS actually comes into play. You can actually increase the surface area of an object by removing material. So he printed a stencil to place over the CPU and proceeded to drill 49 tiny holes into the IHS of the processor. By drilling these 49 holes, he increased the surface area by around 21%, which means more heat could transfer out of the CPU. And then he ran a Half-Life 2 benchmark, he set up the leaf blower again, and started testing. The CPU with holes in it was performing significantly better, while the CPU without holes hit 100 degrees and thermal throttled. So yeah, basically drilling holes in PC hardware actually has some merit, and be sure to check out the full video on their channel because it's actually very entertaining.